Well, some kind, beautiful, wonderful soul sent me this little heater that we have all seen on the commercials on TV. And I tell you what, I think this is pretty cool. Somebody sent this to me, didn't tell me who they were. May have been the company that sent it to me, or it may have been one of the viewers. Either way, I am grateful. Very, very grateful. So thank you very much. Hello, friends and family of YouTube. Well, as you've seen, I, I've, got a, uh, I've got another heater that we're going to try to heat up the RV with. But I'm going to try something a little bit different today. You know, uh, usually what I do is I test these heater situations in the uh, nighttime hours. And uh, I thought, well, hey, we're not just stuck in these things in the nighttime, so I'm going to try it during the daytime as well. Well, right now it is uh, right at 49 degrees, so uh, yeah, I'm going to plug this thing in for one hour and uh, see what happens, see how it... Uh, See how well it warms up the uh, RV, and like I say, it's uh, 49 out here, and it is pretty sunny outside. Let you get a look at, man, that's a pretty cool view, isn't it? Not up my nose, but the, the trees and the, uh, and the sky. So uh, anyway, we'll go inside the RV and see what the temperature is in there, and uh, man, yeah, we'll see what, uh, see what we can get out of one hour of this, uh, this little heater. Well, the lighting in here is not the greatest, folks, but uh, anyway, I think y'all get the gist of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the on switch. It's got a switch on the side here. I'm going to turn that switch on, and let's see what happens. Well, it automatically kicks right up to 90 degrees as a preset setting. So uh, i tell you what, let's go ahead and we'll try out the remote on this thing. So uh, it's got buttons up here. I don't know if y'all can tell through the video, but it's also got uh, buttons up there that you can push. And uh, man, you would not believe the heat this little thing's putting out. You know, I'm probably two foot away from it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, I think I'd probably like to get it about 67 degrees in here. And uh, yeah, I believe... I believe Shoney might be a little too close to it, so I'm going to have to move my Shoney, the big boy, get him away from the heater. I don't know what happened to his face, but he got a good tan, didn't he? It looks like it's uh, right at, uh, I'd call that 49 degrees in here as well, 48, 49, something like that. And, uh, and our time is right at 239. Anyway, it just turned to 240. Um, tell you what I will come out here at 3 o'clock which is 20 minutes um, I'll be out here till 3 o'clock and 20 minutes I'll show you uh, where we've gotten to with the temperature and then I'll do a one hour increment from there on how about that and while we are waiting on the uh, 20 minutes time period to pass I thought I'd show you the specs on here that way if any of you have any questions you'll know exactly what's going on with this thing it says power consumption uh, 400 watt and then it also says 350 watt the fan has two speeds on it so I would imagine the low uh, fan speed is probably 350 watt and the high speed is probably 400 watts and let me show you something that I noticed when I was looking at it uh, this is the back side of the uh, of the little heater it has a little switch right beside the outlet and uh, evidently you can push that and that outlet part will rotate. That way, if you uh, didn't want to have it uh, plugged in at this angle, let's say you needed to plug it in at that angle, you just rotate the plug in it and that way you can move it however you need to. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice little feature. And uh, here's the remote control, we'll give you a little bit of idea of what's going on with it in this little uh, box here, it's showing you how the uh, how the remote control operates on there. Well, it's 3.01. The little heater has been on only uh, right at 20 minutes. And it was 49, 48, 49 degrees in here when we started. Look at there, we have got it up to about 52, 53 degrees in 20 minutes. Well, here we are at four o'clock. So it's been uh, one hour. And it uh, looks like we're right at about 57 degrees something like that so uh anyway here is the heater that i was using i 
I did a video on this and this is a very good heater it's very sufficient uh, for this size um, RV and uh, very effective so uh, yeah I was really proud to have that one but I tell you what I am very very impressed with this little heater here considering it puts out 350 watts I'm sure a lot of you that have a, a huge battery bank you're probably questioning, hey, could I put this in uh, maybe just the bedroom area of a large RV and uh, run off of a, a large battery bank for a while? So, uh, yeah, I don't doubt that you could. But uh, anyway, we'll come back here in one hour and uh, see how it's doing. And, and uh, if you notice the, uh, the temperature that it was moving, um, you know, how much it was moving up, that has kind of changed it slowed down a little bit but what i want to point out to you is it being four o'clock it is cooling off outside so earlier when we started this it was 49 degrees outside and right now it is about 45 degrees so uh it is going to slow down a little bit but uh i'm i'm anticipating that here in about an hour 15 hour 20 i think that we will reach our set point uh, that we have on this heater, which uh, again, the uh, set point is 67 degrees. So, be interesting to see uh, see how uh, how soon we'll get there. All right. Well, here we are, right at close to five o'clock, and we are at right at 60 degrees. So, uh, I wish that I would have started this a little earlier, but. Uh, I really wasn't sure how this thing was going to perform, but uh, considering now it is right at 40 degrees outside, uh, it's still, I mean, holding a 20 degree difference to the plus, so that's uh, that's pretty awesome. And Okay, well we've been uh, into this a little more than three hours now. It looks like it's going to hold steady right at 60 degrees. And uh, again, uh, like I said earlier, the temperature is falling outside. Uh, right now it is right at 40 degrees. I got the set point here at 67. Uh, so i tell you what I was wanting to do is get this up to uh, 68 degrees using this heater here. And um, my hopes are is to see that uh, let's imagine that we were somewhere that we could run the generator for a while, get uh, get this heater here going and this other small heater, uh, the new one here along this wall, get both of them going, get this RV up to a good 67, 68 degrees uh, with the generator. And then uh, let's say that you had four or five batteries on board and you wanted to uh, cut off your generator and cut this off as well and just solely run this off of your four or five batteries six however many you have on board and uh, some of you guys that know your uh, wattage and all that stuff y'all y'all would know how long you could actually run this and if you could leave it down in the comments below as I said if this is running on low this runs at 350 watts if you've got it on high it runs uh, 400 watts so uh, you know if you were somewhere also like uh, let's say um, let's say you were at the RTR and you had uh, one of your neighbors is going to run a generator well if he run a he or she run a 4,000 watt generator you could run 10 of these you could run 10 of these heaters off of one 4,000 watt generator so uh, essentially 10 RVs could run one of these each off of one generator. Now of course I know that that's not something that you would do, but I'm just kind of giving, giving you an example. So uh, you know a good way to look at it is why would uh, 10 neighboring RVs want to run a generator each? You could definitely crack it down to say five generators. Let's say uh, our five uh, RVs, you got five RVs, you, uh, you get with your neighbors, you're like, hey, you run the generator tonight. We all get to run one of these heaters here to stay nice and warm. Tomorrow night, I will run my generator and keep all the neighbors warm, etc. So it's kind of a good way to go green. It's kind of a good way to save a little money and everybody come out on top. 
So uh, anyway, I'm going to run this one for a little while and uh, see if we can't get it up to uh, a good comfortable 68 degrees. And then uh, we will just uh, test it solely on this one here and see if it will maintain the temperature in here at 68. All right, while we're waiting on the, um, the room to get up to full temperature, like I say, I wanted to try to get it up to about 67. 68 degrees and we're not far from it. I've got two uh, two heaters going right now. I got this one here running on low and I got this one running on high. So uh, anyway, it's uh, the temperature's been rising pretty quick. Didn't take but about 15 minutes just to get it up another six degrees. But uh, anyway, I want to tell you some pros and cons that I already have noticed about this uh, heater. So uh, let me tell you the good and bad of it. All right, so far what I really like about it is I like that as close as this counter is to the heater, this counter is not hot. Not anywhere around here. Matter of fact, it's still cold because this, uh, this RV was kept cold all day long. So I am really putting this through a strenuous test. If I touch these walls, these walls are very cold. Even the countertops, the TV, everything in here is cold. So it's like a big radiant of cold battling against this tiny little heater. So I'm very impressed with it. But what i tell you what else I like is I like that I can touch along the face of it. It is a little warm, don't get me wrong. But let's say that if you had a cat come by here and rub up against it, it would not burn the cat, set the cat on fire or whatever. Or if you had a little kid, the kid may come over and touch it. It's not going to give them a third degree burn or anything. It's going to, you know, make them, uh, they, they won't hold on to it. I'll, I'll guarantee you that. So uh, that's some good of it. Uh, I also like that there is a, a way that you can adjust it to where you can turn this over on its side as opposed to, uh, or maybe you turn it upside down. I, I need to check on that and that may depend on, sometimes you'll see people will wire the plugs differently to where the ground uh, is in an upside um, upside down position. So uh, I'm not sure why people do that or why people wire things up that way, but sometimes it does happen. So uh, anyway, I do like that it can rotate. Uh, once I cut it off, I'll try to remember to test to see if you can rotate it going lengthwise versus uh, just only uh, one direction or the other. Uh, the other thing that I noticed, uh, something that I'm not crazy about, is the temperature control on here is when you turn it off and you turn it back on it goes to 90 degrees so you have to uh, take the setting and move the setting back down it will not stay at a specific setting <coughs> excuse me in between turning it on and off so uh, uh, you know that's it's not a big ordeal it's just if, if you were to tell somebody to turn on the heater and they come over without paying attention, they could just turn it on and not notice that it's at 90 degrees and needs to be reset. Okay, so it's 636. It is right at uh, 66 degrees, 67, somewhere in there. I'm going to turn this fan off. And I will come back at 7.30 and uh, we will see what the temperature is uh, at that point. See if this is able to maintain a nice comfortable temperature. Okay, well it's a little after 7 o'clock. It is 40 degrees outside. And looks like we have dropped from 67 down to about 62, 63 degrees. Uh, a little bit over an hour's time period of just running this heater just this heater only i was not in here so i did not have the body heat of myself to uh, help keep this a little warmer in here uh, most of the time it would be me and the dog uh, we've got some things going on right now so i'm not able to stay in here with it but uh i tell you what i am very impressed with this little heater uh, for many reasons. One is, uh, you know, these RVs are not very well uh, insulated. You've got an R value of about seven, I think, on the walls of this RV. And uh, it seems like that's about the same on the floor and the ceiling as around seven, R7 on here. So, uh, yeah, for this thing to uh, to keep, uh, keep it heated up around uh, low 60s with it being 40 degrees outside, 
absolutely very impressive little heater and uh, you know I, if you were to use this in a bedroom of a home there's no telling uh, how well it would work in a in a home situ situation you know with better better insulation inside of a house you would definitely do better than uh, than what I'm doing here in the RV because again it was around three o'clock if I recall of when I started uh, heating this RV up so all these walls are just man when you put your hand on the walls they're just cold so for uh, for this little uh, for this little heater to uh, to keep it this warm in here <laughs> extremely impressive very very impressive and if you didn't catch uh, what I was saying in the first part of this video, somebody sent me this little heater and uh, I have no idea who did it. I don't know if a, if the company that makes these uh, sent it to me or if a viewer did. Either way, I am very grateful, very appreciative because hey, I will be using this little heater. Very nice little uh, unit. Hey, I like that it's got a remote control even though in this small little RV, you don't need a lot of remotes because, uh, you know, everything's at, uh, within just a, a hand's reach. But, hey, it still will come in handy because, you know, a cold nights, you don't want to reach outside of those covers. You want to just be able to, to uh, grab that remote and get business done. Folks, hey, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me today. I hope y'all enjoyed this little video. And uh, I may have some more of this series coming to you soon of the uh, keeping the RV warm. So uh, thanks again, folks. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> How impressive. Even turning it off. I've turned it off, and it's going to blow all of that hot air out of there before it turns itself off. That way it does not go into off mode with a bunch of heat still stored up inside of it smart little unit <laughs> thank you thank you thank you whoever sent that to me i greatly appreciate it